Hello and welcome to Pantheon of the Geeks. You join us for an unboxing of Kill Team. We are indeed. Um, Kill Team. Kill Team. Kill Team. Mm. Raven Guard versus Tau in this particular case. Mm -hmm. uh, Claire has actually climbed the Tau now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how that I, happened. I, I think I, I just know. blurted it out. I was like, I, mine. I was going to paint them, but never mind. Uh, no, I want the Raven Guard anyway. Yeah. So we may as well split it between us. Uh, this is Kill Team, anyway. Uh, nice new Kill Team box. Mm -hmm. There is the price there from Games Workshop. 40 quid. Yep, so we've been together at Freshen today to pick this up. Uh, we had a quick look at the manager's copy. Yes. And uh, so now we've got our own. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, was, it was decided. Yeah. I thought of playing Children Point Kill Team's uh, skirmish battles. It's just like, it's too cool to mess up. So, let's see what's in this box. <laughs> right. Dunk. Oh. There we go. So we have, I believe that's a toe screw. Yep, that's yep. a toe screw. So we, we, haven't, we have not got any of the new toe screws. I've never done an unboxing of toe on our, our channel. No. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be building the toe for Claire. Uh, that. And then we have some Space Marine parts there, the backs. Weapons. I think it's got. It looks like it's got all the all the parts. Nothing's like a modified sprue with last bits on. It looks like it's got everything in there. No recession. There we are. Yeah, grab guns. Melter. My favourite. Flamer. <laughs> uh, we've got missile launcher though. Cool. That seems to be the normal space marine sprue anyway. And then we have let's see. Corresponding bases, which we're going to replace with the uh, We've got barcodes. Ones. We've got tow barcodes. I've not seen this because uh, I've not had any of the new ones. I've not seen this before, actually. That's pretty cool. Mm. <laughs> and then we've got, the, we've got some flying stands for the drones. And we have, I believe, we've got the kill team robot. And we've got a normal, uh, well, normal. Robot, but a, a mini robot. Mini robot. Right, we've got Death Mask and all the other box games. Really cool, I like the mini robots. Uh, that one's got Raven Guard on the front. Oh, of course, they're all different. Yeah, the other one, I think, has Death Watch on the front. Yes. If you can locate and find it. Uh, there we go. So that's the Kill Team book, and then we have coloured instructions, both Tau and Adaptive <gasps> Starters. Yay, cool. So where do you want to start? Do you want to start by putting them all together? And then we'll have a look at the Kill Team book. Yes, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, we'll, do, we'll put the tie together. I don't I don't think there's any point in showing you guys the Marines going together. I might just show you them after I've put them together. I suppose, because Marines are just like a multi-part kit which goes together however. And I think we've done loads of Marines on our channel in the past. So, we'll go with the tie. Okay. So, uh, if we want to make a start on that, oh, I'll say that. On the back of this, there is a cool chart. There's Raven Guard, Crimson Fists. Oh, is there any inside? Let's have a look. Might have built a 10 page as well. Uh, we have Salamanders. That is the Games Workshop way to paint Salamanders. That's pretty cool, actually. Uh, and then we have Iron Hands, White Scars, Imperial Fists. Hmm. And what else do we have? There we go. Ultramarines. So there's colour charts in there. For uh, painting all those different chapters. No That's such luck cool. for the town. Sorry? No such luck for the town. No they such luck get... for the town. Oh. Yeah, they just get. Oh, you oh, get the rules. Yeah. Breach a team. Breach a team. Oh, there we go. No. <laughs> right, so we'll start by putting the town together, shall we? Yeah. Okay. So you can build it as a Fire Warriors team or a Breacher team. Hmm. Right, well, I'll, there you go. I'll have a look at them. We'll have a look and we'll decide. So. Here we have sprues. If you've not seen the tie sprues before, there's a lot on them. There's a lot of options on them. I've not got any of the newer tie. We haven't seen saying. the tie sprue before. So I've never seen this all. smart firing turret thing type thingy. Mm -hmm. That's cool. And there's the other sprue with backpacks and all the breacher stuff as well as the fire warrior stuff on there. So Claire wants to build these as they are in the book. Mm -hmm. um, 
Well, it's got a zero in the book. You've got to do a bit of modifications just to make the character stand out a little bit. Yeah, um, I think in the book they've got the helmets, so I'm going to do the uh, characters without helmets. Yeah. With just faces, so they stand out. Yeah. And all the other guys with helmets, so I know who's who. Yeah, it'll be easier to see on the battlefield. Yeah. So um, we're going to start here. Uh, these are the body. Uh, sorry, these are the legs. Um, we've got. There's only one pair of legs which needs separate parts, which is 45 and 46. There's two actually. Um, 22. Yeah. There's only one style, sorry. Yeah. But there's two versions of it. And there's only one of them. I think there's 12 sets of legs actually on the spruce like when that. I counted them. Um, 12 or 13 sets of legs, but we need 10. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to get some bases, which are the Imperial Sector bases. Claire's going to pick out the legs that she wants to use for her guys. And we are going to stick them on so it sort of represents this bit here. So we'll be back once we've done that. Okay, so while they're drying and uh, set into the bases, we'll start on the tactical support turret, the SA tactical mm -hmm. support turret, Sorry. which is part 80 and 81, which are the sides. We have part uh, 79, which goes in the top bit there. Part 70, which is the top section. This is the smart missile system, was it? Yeah, the one with so the six. It's the one with the six parts on. Mm -hmm. So if you want to do the other one, it's 86, but this one's 83, 84, and 82 and 85. So it's four parts making up the, the missile. So those bits look like they go together fairly straightforward. So we'll just stick that together as it is. If there's any problem, we'll be back in it's between. So it's built. Easy peasy. Put together. Very cool. It looks very cool actually, I do like it. Yeah. I'm jelly now. <laughs> right, so we're now going to move on to the next stage. Which will clear off all those bases which seem to have set. Keeping those separate. Yep. Those are guys. So now we're on about drones. Brilliant. So the drones, the gun drones in the book. Yes they are. Um, I do have some gun drones upstairs actually as well and they're all this type right because that's all they used to be originally for the uh for the time we've now got shield drones we've got marker drones and we've got guardian drones there you go mm. so which ones are you doing are you going to do the gun drones gun drones keep your yeah. gun drones yeah 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 okay so that's basically part 93 two of them part 91 two of them part 92 two of them which makes this little gun bit there which then fits onto part 90 which is the top of the drone and then one of these antennae it doesn't matter which I don't think uh, there we go so looks like it goes together straight forward I've put drones together before so if there's any problems I'll be back otherwise we shall see when the drones should both look like that so there are the drones we need to put together there they are I've not glued them onto the, the bases so it's up to Claire whether she wants me to... It'll be easier for me just to pick them off and paint underneath yeah. and... So we'll just leave them everything. Yeah. They are. So they can go with the turret, they're done. Cool. Uh, and now we're going to move on to... I think that's just showing that there's interchangeable, interchangeable parts. parts. Yeah. Right, so we already know that really, that you can change a lot of things. Um, so it's just about putting the bodies on. Bodies, yes. And so it's bodies and backpacks, is it? Yay. So part nine for instance and part forty seven. Then make uh, this is the strike team obviously we're making we're not making the breaches out of this. Um so nine and forty seven make this body and then you add on the, the knife and the little gun to make that. And then your heads can be any of the heads plus the little antenna. Mm -hmm. Cool. So there there is really a mix and match thing. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna match them up at least in spirit to the models in, in the code. I was not going to use exactly the same parts like we did with uh, Death Mask. Mm -hmm. We're just going to make sure that there's there's four named characters, isn't there? There's Yeah, yeah. There's, there's four named characters. One's the boss guy. Yeah, so there's... we'll get to this probably later on in the video when we go through the actual uh, book. But one of them's got Fiona Payne, one of them's got a Scout. And the other one's got eagle eye. One of them's got eagle eye. So we need to make them approximately look like the, 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 those positions. Yeah. Uh, through one thing or another. Perhaps give the scout the scanner and such such like. That yeah. kind of thing. And the leader's got um, quick thinking. but he... Quick thinking. But I don't know how you can put yeah. quick thinking on, on a model. So suppose you give him a pipe. Um, yeah, deer so stalker. Just, hmm. 
Let's think about this, make it watch your call. I don't think those options are on the sprue, unfortunately. No. Although I would love to see a tire with a pipe going, hmm. <laughs> I don't know where that came from, sorry guys. Right, so we're just going to stick uh, the parts together. So we'll be back once we've got the bodies and the heads on, and then we'll come back to put the weapons on. Okay, so here's the body and the head together. This is the Shazu, and this is obviously the leader of the whole strike team. Um, we're, not, we're going to build him with uh, these following parts with arm 58 pointing out and then this part for you is basically any of the arms I think we use, do we use 29? 29. 29 and then 63 which is the carbine which is what he's armed with in the book so we're going to put those bits on and I think he's done them apart from the shoulder pad, the shoulder pad which, is, which is part 50 so then the leader will be done We'll come back and we'll do the other three specialists and then we'll just build the rest. However, so um, let's put the arms on and have a look at him finished. So there he is finished, pointing at you. <laughs> Tell him he's gone. That's a pretty cool position, actually. Tell him mm. he's gone. Thank you. Mm. What's his name? Um, let me just have a look in the book. He's called Shaz Yu Kayan. Shaz Yu Kayan, then. Or Kayan. Kayan. Pepper. Okay, I'm Pepper. Okay. So next up, what's the next specialist we're gonna do? Um, we'll do his little strike force that he's got. It, we've got uh, Shazla um, Obita and Shazla Turnot. Are these yeah. ones with carbines. These are the yeah. ones with carbines. Yeah. Okay. Well, so, what's their special skills? So um, Obita has the feel no pain. Yeah. And Turnot has the scout. So scout. for the scout, I was thinking of having that one. This guy. Was, yeah. And feel the pain. I think the walking forward one is kind of like sorting forward, going, can't hurt me, can't touch okay. me. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> right, so again, we're going to build these much like the the Shazu, uh, just using slightly different parts. Mm. Um, but these guys have got carbines. There's obviously no uh, knife that goes on the backpack, no. the bonding knife, and there's no um, little antenna thing that he's got on the backpack. And these guys, are they getting open visors as well yeah so we i think they will have yeah so difference. yeah so they're going to be like you know cool so they're not going to have the helmets on either yeah so we'll build these two and then so we'll see more of the specialists are done so this is the feel no pain guy mm -hmm. so he's kind of running forward into the fire and he's got all packed probably with medical gear in uh that's him this is the one that's the scout yeah and he's got a carbine he's got a little scanner he's kneeling down probably like he's hiding behind something just looking for stuff being all scoutified. So the last one of the named guys is the one with eagle eye, is yep. it not? That's right. So which one what we use for this guy? Using this. This body. All these. Yes. He'd like shows that. Yeah. And he's got a pulse rifle as opposed to a carbine. Yeah. This thing. Yep. So cool. So those are the parts we're using for that. So we'll stick him together. So mm -hmm. here's the guy with eagle eye. Didn't mean to make that rhyme, but never mind. Um, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so I should be able to identify him because he's not helmet on and he's sort of stance. So the other six tau, uh, they're all getting helmets, they're just going to be put together. There's two with carbines mm -hmm. and four with the rifles. So we will stick them together and we should be back once we've finished off the squad. So we'll see you okay, in a second. That's uh, the tie finished, mm -hmm. there we go. That's really a nice model, so I'm quite impressed. Yeah. There's a lot more in them than the old sprues I used to have. Obviously you've got the breech option as well, and then we've got a new little turret thing. A little toy. And there's a lot of other extra optional things that weren't on the old sprues. Mm-hmm. That's cool. Cool. So Claire's going to read out... Um, what these guys are. What they are in the in the back of the book. Yep. Uh, you get to see it later, but she'll read it out now. Yeah, so these are the uh, Strike Team Bright Conquest. Cool. Uh, coming in at 134 points. Yeah. Um, so we've got um, all infantry models have photon grenades. Yeah. We've got Shazla Septgumi, I probably murdered his name there, yeah. and four fire warriors that have pulse rifles. We've got Shazuai Kayen, I've again murdered his name, yeah. Shazla Obita, and Shazla Turdot. Yeah. I can say those two. <laughs> and two fire warriors. Um, they all have pulse carbines. Mm -hmm. um, the strike team includes uh, two MV-1 gun drones, 
and a DS-8 tactical support turret with smart missile system. Excellent. So uh, they've all got support in fire special rule. Uh, the leader trait, Shaju Kanai, has the following leader trait, quick thinker. That's him. Yeah, so he's quick on his... Thinking. Yeah, he's, he constantly <laughs> does uh, crosswords while he's watching everyone else. Is it not Sudoku? He might do, yeah. Okay. Maybe it's more town thing Sudoku, yeah. <laughs> so Shazai Sudoku. Yeah, that'd be a good name for town. <laughs> so the specialists are three specialists. The, the yeah. specialists. Is that English? Is that no, that was town. That's right. Sorry. <laughs> Shazla Obita is an indomitable specialist. Yeah. And has the following special rule. Feel no pain. That's his dude on the end. Yeah. Shazla Turnot is yeah. a guerrilla specialist and has the following special rule. Scout. That's this guy. Just yeah. in the middle of that. So Shazla Septgumi is a weapon specialist and has the following special rule. Eagle Eye. Eagle Eye. That's uh, that guy with the pulse rifle. Yeah. So there we go. That's the tower. That's mm -hmm. where you get in the box. It's a good deal actually just to get tower and space marines if you it's, like those two. Yeah. It's... Some nice cool models for 40 quid. Well, it's nice for me just to look at the town because I've not really looked at them yeah. much, so it's interesting for me to see them kind yeah. of thing, see how they work. So, uh, while we've been doing that, we've been putting the Space Marines together, mm -hmm. so we'll bring okay. them on. So, here is the Raven Guard squad. Mm -hmm. um, I've actually I've used some extra beaky helmets that I had just in the base box just to give them pretty much all cover, so I'm, apart from the sergeant and the dude with the melty gun, I quite like the dark. Vader type masks <laughs> going on. Yeah, very and cool. I just didn't have an extra beaky helmet that I could find. Oh. So um there we go. So cool. other than that, this is pretty much just a standard squad. Mm -hmm. Um Claire's gonna read it out though. Yeah, so these are squad stornus coming in at hundred and ninety points. Mm -hmm. So we have all models have uh, frag grenades and crack grenades. The Sergeant Stornus has a plasma Let's pistol and chainsaw. Uh, Brother Lotar and all Space Marines have bolt gun and bolt pistol. Brother Lotar. Lotar, yeah. That's him. Yeah. Right. We've got Brother Dam Damek. Yep. He has a missile launcher and bolt pistol. That's definitely this guy. We've got Brother Jovis who has a melter gun and bolt pistol and a special rule and they shall know no fear. Yep. Uh, chapter tactics, Raven Guard. Yep. Uh, leader trait. Uh, Sergeant Stornus has the following leader trait, Cunning Ruse. Uh, specialists, um, Brother Damnek is a indomitable specialist and has the following special rule, Relentless. Cool, so you can move and fire that missile launcher. <laughs> cool. SD. Brother Jovis is a weapon specialist and has the following special rule, Expert Shot. Cool. And um, Brother Lotar is a guerrilla specialist and has the following special rule, Preferred Enemy. Yeah, I'll see him. Got a little skull on his base. So just to remember, remind me which one he is. There we go. So that is my squad of uh, squad Stornus, is it? Stornus, yeah. Yeah, that's my version of it though. Uh, <laughs> more beaky marines and a few other bits from other sprues and yeah, that's pretty much it. Cool. So uh, we'll have a look now at the full kill team rules. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here is the kill team book. And if we have a look through it, obviously we've got some pictures there. Tau and Raven Guard. But we start off with a little bit about kill teams, uh, what they are, and basically what, what it means. It was small battles, basically. Then we have choosing your kill team, which is the probably the important part, really. So a kill team detachment is two troops or one elite or one fast attack. Uh, zero to two with the troops, zero to one with the fast attack and elite. Restrictions in order to represent the sorts of units that would be tasked with undertaking such missions. There are a few further restrictions that you must take into account when selecting your kill team. A kill team must include at least four non-vehicle models. One of these models must be your leader. And see opposite. And three must be specialists on page eight. A kill team cannot include any models with more than three wounds or hull points on their profile. A kill team cannot include any vehicles with a combined armour value established by adding the vehicle's front, side and rear armour values together of more than 33. And a kill team cannot include any flyers. Kill team cannot include any models with a 2 plus save, so no terminators. The leader, after choosing your kill team you must determine which non-vehicle model will be your leader. The leader 
is automatically the character with the model with the highest leadership characteristic on the profile. If your kill team um, has no character models, then the leader is automatically the model with the highest profile leadership profile on the characteristic. In that case, several eligible models are tied for the highest leadership characteristic. You must nominate one of them to be your leader. However, a model with the beast or swarm special rule cannot be nominated as your kill team leader. If it does not already have the character type or the independent character special rule, then they gain this unit type. Your leader is a skilled veteran of many military campaigns and at the start of every game, roll in the leader traits table to the right before you deploy your kill team to discover what signature tactics your leader has to help them complete the mission. Designers note for campaigns, if you play a number of kill team games as part of a campaign or ongoing narrative or gaming event, we recommend you retain your leadership trait between games. Alternatively, rather than rolling on the table, you can simply pick the trait that best suits your leader's personality and retain that trait instead. Cool. Obviously with the two forces we've got in the book, it's already picked, mm -hmm. it's, it's part of that. Well, so leader's traits are cunning present, sorry, cunning ruse, can't read from here. D3 plus two non-vehicle models of your choice have the outflank special rule. So my guy has the quick thinker. Did my guy have the cunning ruse? Well, he did, yeah. That's quite useful. Yeah. Uh, quick thinker. Guy, yeah. yeah. So your kill team successfully seizes the initiative on a four plus instead of a six. That means you're probably more likely to go first. Uh, and then we have, is it chasing promotion? Chasing promotion. Again, one additional mm -hmm. victory point if your leader slays an enemy leader in a challenge. Mm -hmm. We have Iron Resolve. Your leader's command range is increased to uh, 12 inches. So you break tests oh, and useful, command actually. range. Yeah. Uh, being there, seen it, done it. Your leader can select a special role from the, the, one of the specialist categories. Though this cannot be from the same category as any of your other specialists. Mm -hmm. And we've got unshakable dedication to duty. Your leader has the zealot special rule. Yeah. So if we go on the page, we can see specialists. So when you're choosing specialists, you have to have three in your force. And whether they're grizzled and steadfast sergeants who have survived more than their fair share of wars, or perhaps even a squad's latest recruit who shows a remarkable talent for marksmanship. These individuals are referred to as specialists. After choosing your kill team and establishing who will be your leader, you must nominate three non-vehicle models to be specialists. You cannot nominate your leader, nor can you choose a model with the beast or swarm special rule to be a specialist. Each specialist must be assigned a single special rule chosen from one of the specialist categories in this selection. No two specialists in the same kill team can choose their special rules from the same specialist category. The five specialist categories and specialist rules which can be chosen within the next within each category can be found on the next few pages. So you have combat specialists, which basically is from the rule book, counterattack, furious charge, hammer of wrath, hatred and rage. We won't go through what they are. But there are also some new rules uh, which are not in the rule book, which are just specifically for kill teams. Your berserk fighter. Which is basically at the start of any of your fight subphases, this model gains an additional D3 attacks if they are locked in combat with more than one enemy model. The model that has made a disordered charge that turn received no benefit from Berserk Fighter. But Death Blow, if the target suffers an unsaved wound from a close combat attack made by this model, the target is reduced to zero wounds and is removed as a casualty. Um, that could be useful if you're fighting a two wound character, but you can't have more than a two wound character that in Kill Team. Mm -hmm. So. It depends on who you're fighting or what you're fighting, really. Mm -hmm. Killer Instinct, this model always wounds on the 2+, plus when making a close combat attack against non-vehicle models. Quite like that one myself. <laughs> uh, I can see me using that at some point. Uh, a Warlord Adept, this model has plus one weapon skill. Sorry, Warrior Adept. I not said Warlord. <laughs> there we go. Next we have Weapon Specialists. Uh, the only one from the 40k rules is Sniper. And then we have Bane of Vehicles. When making shooting attacks, this model rerolls failed armor penetration rolls against vehicles and can choose to reroll glancing hits in an attempt instead get a penetrating hit. But the second result must be kept. Eagle Eye, one of the tie hats. Yeah. The range of any ranged weapons fired by this model is increased by half. For example, this model could fire a bolt gun at range 24 up to range 36 instead. This increased range also affects rapid fire and melter distances, but has no effect on template weapons. Mm -hmm. And we have Expert Shot, which is basically plus one ballistic skill. 
Machine Saboteur, when this model hits a vehicle in close combat, roll a d6 to determine the effect rather than rolling for armor penetration as normal. 1 has no effect, 2 to 4 is a glance hit, and 5 to 6 is a penetrating hit. Next we have Master Craftsman. When selecting this special rule, pick a ranged weapon carried by this model. You can reroll one fail to hit roll per turn with that weapon. We have Reaping Volley at the top. When attacking with a ranged weapon that fires more than one shot, this model may target different enemy models with each shot. And now it's the intended target of every shot before making any hit rolls. Obviously you want to give that to a multi-hit model, like a heavy bolter or something mm. like that. Uh, Sharpshooter. Cover saves cannot be taken against wounds, glancing or penetrating kicks caused by shooting attacks made by this model. And suppressing fire. If a non-vehicle model suffers one or more hits from a shooting target made by this model, the target must take a leadership test once this model has finished its attacks for that phase. This is called a pinning test. If the target fails this test, it must immediately go to the ground. As the target is, has already taken saves, going to ground does not... Uh, protected against the fire of a weapon that caused the test, it's too late. As long as the test is passed, the target can be called upon to take multiple pinning shots in a single turn, but only once for each model shooting at them. If this model has already gone to ground, no further pinning tests are taken. If the special rules of a model specify that they can never be pinned, then they automatically pass this test. Such models can still go to ground voluntarily if they wish. Ooh. Next up we have the Dirty Fighter Specialist, which gets Fear and Soul Blaze from the rulebook. We also have Blinding Distraction. Any target hit in close combat by this model must take an initiative test at the end of the current phase. If the test is passed, all is well. They have seen through the distraction. If the initiative test is failed, the target is reduced to the weapon skill and blizzard skill of 1 until, they have the, until the end of the next turn. Any model that does not have an initiative characteristic, for example a non-walker vehicle or building, is unaffected by the special rule. So we have exploit weakness. When this model makes a close combat attack for each to wound roll on of a 6, the target automatically suffers a wound regardless of its toughness. These wounds are resolved at AP2. Against vehicles, each arm penetration roll of a 6 allows a further D3 to be added to this total. These hits are resolved using their normal AP value. We have Executioner. This model re-rolls to fail to wound rolls against targets with a wounds characteristic for two or more. A uh, low blow. A target that suffers one or more hits in close combat from a model that is reduced to initiative one until the end of the following assault phase. Murderous blows. This model re-rolls failed to wound rolls in close combat and poisoned weapons. When attacking in close combat, this model always wounds their target on four plus unless a low result would be required. In addition, the strength of this model is higher than the toughness of their target, this model re-rolls all to failed to wound rolls in close combat. This special rule has no effect against vehicles. We have Indomitable Specialists, so we've got Admantium World Crusader, Eternal Warrior, Fearless, Feel No Pain, Relentless and Stubborn, all from the rulebook. And we've all got one rule in this section, it's Smackdown, any non-vehicle model that suffers one or more hits from this model in close combat moves as if it's in difficult terrain in the end of its next turn. Okay. Mm -hmm. And Gorilla Specialist is the last category, I think, mm -hmm. which is Fleet, Hit and Run, Infiltrate, Move Through Cover, Night Division, Preferred Enemy, Scout and Stealth. And we also have Prometheum Charges. This model counts as being equipped with Assault Grenades. However, cover saves cannot be taken against wounds caused by Prometheum Charges in the shooting phase. That's pretty nasty, actually. Mm -hmm. Very much so. Right. So kill team missions, um, this outlines what a kill team mission consists of. So for instance, all battlefields are 4x4 four four feet, no bigger than that. They're all designed to be played on a 4x4 four four foot table. Every man for himself, uh, most kill teams are selected as part of a squad. However, when deploying your kill team and throughout the course of the game, each model is treated as a separate unit. This even includes models that are selected as war gear options. For example, such as Terror Empire Drones or Space Wolf Fenrisian Wolves. The model is an independent character special rule. It cannot join another model to form a unit of two. Okay, and we have transport vehicles. Uh, transport vehicles can carry a number of models equal to their transport capacity, but following all the normal restrictions, regardless of which unit they were selected from during the kill team selection. 
However, all the models that were selected as part of the same unit during the kill team selection and were assigned to the dedicated transport can begin the game embarked upon their dedicated transport. You got, you're on your own. Psychers cannot use conjunction powers in games of kill team. Furthermore, the reserves rule is not used unless it's a result of outflank. Models cannot enter ongoing reserve by any means. If models in your kill team can normally only be deployed by a deep strike, they simply deploy along with the rest of your army. Scoring units are specifically stated otherwise in their rules. Terra Empire drones, for example, all models are scoring units. Uh, Psychic Solitude, the Brotherhood of Psychers Sorcerer Special has no effect in games of Kill Team and Break Tests. Start of each of your turns, more, if more than half of the total number of models in your Kill Team have been destroyed or otherwise been removed from play, your force is broken. From that point on, each of your models must take a break test at the beginning of each of your movement phases, including the turn on which your force was broken. Starting with your leader, if they are still alive, each of your models will make a leadership test. If the test is passed, all is well, and the model bravely fights on as normal. If the test has failed, your model flees from the battlefield and is immediately removed as a casualty. Vehicles and models with the fearless special rule automatically pass break tests. Models with the and they shall know no fear special rule must re-roll failed break roll tests. Now we've got command range. Your leader has a command range of 6 inches. If your force is broken and your leader passes their break test, all friendly models within their command range automatically pass their break tests as well. There are codex exemptions, which I shall read out. Codex Chaos Space Marines, the champion of chaos special rule is not used in kill team missions. Codex Chaos Demons, the warp stone and demonic instability special rules are not used in kill team missions. All demon models have the fearless special rule instead. Uh, Cult Mechanicus, uh, the canticles of the Omnisire special rule is not used in the kill team missions. Corn Demon King, uh, the blood for the blood god special rule is not used in kill team missions. Sorry, Claire. Uh, <laughs> Codex Ox, the mob special rule is not used in kill team missions. And Codex Skatari, the Doctrina Imperial tele uh, Imperatives special rule is not used in kill team missions. Hmm. Kill team mission, a second objective. Each kill team mission uses some or all the following secondary objectives shared by both players. Slay the leader. If at the end of each game the enemy's leader has been slain, you score one victory point. If the enemy leader has fled the battlefield as a result of a failed break test, a victory point is not awarded. Mm -hmm. Linebreaker. If at the end of the game you have at least one enemy model in the enemy's deployment zone, you score one victory point. Models that are falling back or haven't gone to ground do not count. First Blood. If the first model to be removed as a casualty during your game was part of your opponent's kill team, you score one victory point. Break the enemy. If at the end of the game you have completely destroyed more than half of your opponent's models, score one victory point. So we have a mission table with six missions, which is Forward Push, All in the Dark, Head Hunt, Infiltrate the Camp, and Secure the High Ground, and finally, Supply Drop. Mm -hmm. Which I think are the missions that are going to be on the next pages. Um. I'm going to read through all these, I'm just going to show you them basically. Um, uh, these are just like missions that you play, obviously between them. Mm -hmm. um, those are the deployment zones, much like any other mission. Uh, primary objectives at the end of the game. The objective marker is worth one victory point, so it's get the marker, isn't it? Mm. They have a lawn in the dark. Um, and the game each is worth one victory point. Yep. Oh, I'll turn that over. Headhunt. Yeah. Head hunt. She needs to kill the other guy. Yeah. Night item, special rules, break the enemy, first blood, line breaker, all that. Mm. Um, we'll check the camp. Yeah. Breakthrough. Attackers' models voluntarily leave play by moving off the table. Defenders' table as models leave play cannot return. Defensive perimeter. The attack models cannot use without flank a special rule. In this mission, the attack can reroll any rolls of a one on the leader traits table until they generate a leader trait other than cunning ruse. Uh, the attackers' models may not table boost this game. Engines are quiet. So it's about being sneaky. Mm -hmm. uh, secure the high ground. I'll be the high ground in the middle of that as well, no? I'll be capture the tower or something, yeah. capture the flag or whatever it is. And supply drop. drop. Um, well, I want to object to markers. Yeah, so. Just get to the objective marker and get, get it. Get to the chopper, basically. <laughs> but it's actually a supply drop. Yeah. Right, cool. So there we go. Uh, next missions and beyond. So, talks about tournaments, thinking games. Uh, kill team player. challenges, powering up, 
Multiplayer ones. Sorry? Multiplayer kill teams. Multiplayer kill teams, cool. Uh, against hordes. So your opponent's force consists of two troops, choices, units, with no points value limit. So you're basically going up against. So someone could get two massive orc units and you'd have to take them out. That'd be pretty cool. Mm -hmm. But they use all the normal rules, so they don't have like the kill to be able to split up and stuff like that. Uh, and with the appendix, so these are the data sheets we've been reading from earlier. Uh, so there is Squad Astonis, and there is Strike Team Strike. Bright Conquest. <laughs> like Bright. I couldn't get that out of them. <laughs> and you drink. Yeah, both of us do. And that's it, and then we've got special rules and war gear, so it's just for using these two squads basically. Mm -hmm. And like I said, we've got the other rules are actually on the instruction booklets. So you've got the Space Marine stats and everything there, in case you don't have the Space Marine codex, mm -hmm. and the yeah. Taiwan in case you don't have the Taiwan codex. Which I don't have. Exactly. <laughs> so that'll be useful anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, and the rules, other rules are just listed down there for the weapons. They're all in the actual uh, rule book that we got with this. There we go. So that is Kill Team. We're basically making a 200 point list with those restrictions. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go away now and grab all my army books and I'm going to make Kill Teams for every race imaginable. Awesome. So uh, that, that's me done. I'm really looking forward to playing this. Mm. Uh, it's been a while since we've played 40k to be honest. It is actually, yeah. I've been missing it a little bit, but this is a good reason just to play some small games, I think. Some yeah. skirmishy type games. Cool. Definitely, yeah. So uh, thanks for watching, I mm -hmm. uh, hope you've enjoyed this. If you want to see us play any of the Kill Team missions, please put it in the comments. And uh, hopefully we'll see you again soon, guys. We'll see you soon. Take care. Bye. Bye.